Hey, what's going on guys? Looking for Mighty Reptiles here. Here with, I guess this is the vlog of June 1st. It's about 9, it's 9.45 at night, I should rephrase that. And as you guys know, we have our first cutting of the season scheduled for Sunday, June 3rd. But, uh, well, they're, they're not on our schedule. And one of them decided that uh, they're not gonna wait till Sunday. And they have since retracted their head, but as you can see, they have pipped. So, you guys know what that means. We're gonna get into these eggs right now. It is the head albino to the spider albino. So half of these should be albino. So let's see what we get. All right, so these are on day 53. Um, we usually cut on day 55, but it is different because they pipped. Um, or one pipped. Yeah, one pipped. And one thing to note here, all the names on here are from the Who's Your Uncle shoutouts. And this one here has a star because it is special. That is for Iron Dog 13, who is um, the giveaway winner. Was it for our 3,000? It was for one year, wasn't it? No, oh, it was our one year, yes. Yeah. Um, he is actually going to be taking home whatever snake is in this egg. So we're going to save that one for last, right? Yes. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna work from left to right. I'll cut these three, cut these three. Works for me. Or Nicole, do you wanna cut an egg? Oh, she's no fun. All right, so here, the first one here, I believe is Calissa obviously cannot decide. You know, one thing I learned about Calissa recently, do you know how many snakes she has? 50. One or three? Mm -hmm. 63. Oh, she's got a few. Oh, I forgot to put the wild ones in. You keep coming up. Oh. Yeah, we got to get used to, to filming these again. Okay. Ready? And moment of truth. It's a spider. Hi, hello. Pretty little spider, too. Yeah, spider head albino. Yep, 100% het. All the normals will be 100% het. And then we have pretty much a 25% chance for everything here. So it should be 25% chance for a spider, 25% chance for a normal, 25% <clears throat> chance for an albino, and 25% chance for an albino spider. So this goes um, to P-Town Pythons here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Keep your hand down in there. Good. Let's go. So this is P-Towns. Yep. Awesome dude. I'll reiterate that again. So I very weird. much enjoyed talking to him. It's you hard. get higher and higher when you're cutting. Just leave it down. Oh, we can already see what that one is. Yep. It is another spider. Spider, spider head albino. Yep. Go ahead and put that down. And here, Nicole, this may be the one that you want to be around for. Because it's your egg that we marked for you. Come here. Come here. You won't be on film, just come here. I want you to see what it is. I, uh, have, I have the camera. I don't trust you either. <laughs> All right, so in Nicole's egg, also known as Intelligent Design Geckos, Wow, I can't believe it. A spider. Three, three spiders. 100% pet for albino. Wow. And that's a really, really, really pretty pattern on that. Yeah, I like it. All right, so we are going to trade off here. So yeah, small cut. Yep. Okay, I am gonna start with the one that's already pipped because I am now in control. So this is Runs. And we can promise you guys this one that it is not a spider. <laughs> well, it might be. Not just a spider. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's not another spider head albino. It's not going to continue the streak. And that's just because we've already seen it. This is the one that was pipping. And... Uh, 
put a little tag right there. It is a little albino. And it is pretty. Look at that little orange outline. Yeah. Really pretty. I can't wait to see these guys out of the egg. All right, June. If you want one, we got one. With <laughs> somebody who had actually spoken for an albino already. Yeah, but um, the thing that we do with our Hoosier uncles, we actually contact them first if they actually want to uh, end up getting the snake that they are the uncle of. And then we'll list it for sale if, they're, if they just want to be oh, the uncle. Oh, I didn't know that wrinkle. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So the next one. Who's this? Can't read it. PR4. It, it's smudged so bad I can't read it. Can't. Oh, it's Pythons R Us. Oh, that's what it says. Okay. It's upside down. <laughs> I got you, Jan. Oh, my bad. I take full responsibility for kicking that. I'm going to try something a little different. Just cutting right down the middle. Yeah, especially since these haven't pipped yet and it's only day 53. Aha! I love it. Let's see what you got, John. Got yourself an albino. Another albino. Very, very pretty. If it was closer I get, the more of the light I am. Yeah, very, very pretty. That one seems to have a lot more yellow than white, whereas yeah. the other one had a lot more white. Yeah, I, I don't really discern a spider pattern at all. All right, so here's the moment of truth for Iron Dog 13. Let's see what you got, buddy. We have not hit an albino spider yet, so does that mean that the odds are gonna come back around or no? Give me a cheeky smile, I don't know. <laughs> and he got himself a little albino. So we got three albinos. Three spiders and three albinos. And no albino spiders and, and no, no normals. normals. So we hit right in the middle. I'm happy with that. So Iron Dog, you have gotten yourself a little albino baby. There you go. It looks like very, the smallest of the good. eggs, or maybe the next to the smallest. Yeah, very pretty little baby here. So yeah, um, as soon as these guys actually leave the eggs, as soon as they all have left, we will be doing a follow-up video where we actually get them into their own tub, and um, that's when we'll really be able to see all their patterns. But man, first clutch of the season down. All right, so that one was a little bit interesting. <laughs> that one was different, yeah. We were just talking about it. Logan, uh cut three spiders, the first three were spiders, and I cut three albinos, so. Yeah, and I was thinking about it, the odds of that happening, um, not, I couldn't, I didn't go as far as adding ours together, but just for us, cutting three eggs consecutively, mm -hmm. like that is one in 16 for that one, for that pairing. Yeah, we're cutting the same exact thing three times in a row, so one in 16 shot. Interesting. But we did that twice. Yeah. So, very interesting. You sure on those numbers? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because the first, whatever you get first doesn't matter in the calculations. It just has to be the one in four and one in four odds for the second and third. Okay. That's where you get the one sixteen. But that doesn't take into account the order. You sure it's not two to the third top power times two to the third power? No, I don't see that. Okay. Because, that would uh, be 64. It's not. Okay. We'll talk about how to calculate it, it, odds no, on another one. No, I said the, it, to get three in a row, not to get oh, three okay. of that one. Okay. I just said three of any of them. Gotcha. That, that would have been one in, one over 64 hits. Yes. Okay. Um, but as for just hitting something three times in a row, one, two. One, one, okay. Gotcha. There you go. We were just thinking differently. Mm -hmm. okay. So, yeah. Um, obviously, um, that is, I don't know, that's our, that's our first clutch. Of the season. That is, yeah, those are, well, 
our first babies that we took out. And I, yeah, just really early. That's a week early. Two days. No, not if you're going 60 days. That's we cut on day 55. Yeah. Yeah. And, which is too early. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I think it's a little late. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to ask about that one too. How many people think you should wait and how many people like to cut early? I would rather see them, like to, like today, I'd like to see them pip and then cut, mm -hmm. regardless of what day it is. Well, well, that happened on day 53. And and we cut, yeah. And if and, it were day 58, then cut. And even though it's early, like like we said, day 53, um, it we still had, we had the one pip and then we had three more that had already broken out of their actual egg sac and mm -hmm. were actually just about to start pipping themselves. Yeah. So it wasn't just like one was really advanced, they kind of, the general. Those ones. were the really big eggs, weren't they? They were bigger, I don't remember, I don't remember the size. Yeah. But we will figure out their sizes and everything um, in the next couple days when they come out, as well as getting a better look at their pattern, because even though, you know, I, I say just spiders, some of those spiders are really pretty. Yeah, I want to get a good look at them too. So we'll see. Good day. Yeah. There, there's the was, start. Was not expecting that. Um, but our next clutch that we are cutting is on June 9th. So eight days away. So next Saturday. Mm -hmm. And um, what is going to be happening there is the vanilla pastave to, to Dr. Smooth. That's going to be fun. Um, who is our leopard fire spider. So we have six genes at play there. So we're probably going to need your guys' help a little bit to figure out what's in some of these guys. Because, like I said, six genes. Six different genes. We're not going to get any supers of any kind here. It's just going to be crazy. There's no blue-eyed or black-eyed leucistics. Everything's going to look different and it's going to look really, really fun. We still have a shot at a normal, but it's a minuscule. Yeah, that's, what is it, like one in? 64. Yeah, it's crazy little odds. Yeah, that's it, eight, 60. Yeah, one in 64. So yeah, it's going to be a really cool clutch. Um, a lot of these things are gonna have some really weird names too, because it's combinations of names. Yeah, we'll see. I, I don't think we're gonna get them. I don't think we're gonna get them right. How many eggs are we having out of that one? Six? I think we got six. Yeah. Um, so do expect a, um, Who's your uncle? That was actually what we planned to record right now, but we're like, hey, before we actually go to write on these eggs, we should check on these and let them know. There's we Pip. We have Pipster. So yeah, expect that video coming very soon, probably you know tomorrow or the day after. Right. Um, but now I'm just excited because we I had to ignore the fact that there was eggs in there so I can sleep for two <laughs> months, and now now we finally have eggs again and. Uh, it's just the start of the season. I'm happy for that. You are excited. Yeah. yeah. I like the, uh, I don't know, baby season's the fun part. Yeah, oh, definitely. Until you have to start feeding all of them. <laughs> well, our, our rats handle it just fine. <laughs> what about the hand feeders? Oh, we have one that's 700 grams that hand feeds. Well, <laughs> you don't weird. have to assist him. You just have to put it there for him. Yeah, um, little did you guys know when we first got Dr. Smooth, the guy who is the sire to um, the clutch that is going to be cut next week, um, whether they pip or if they, they go to day 55, um, but Dr. Smooth used to only eat if you were handling it at the time. He wouldn't strike at it. You would just have to put the, the rat right in front of him and he'll just open his mouth and very gently take it from you. And then he'd coil it. It's, it was weird. It was like he was like a green tree. Yeah, he still doesn't hit very hard. Yeah, he's, he's still super gentle. But yeah, just something really interesting there. But other than that, we're out, we are just off topic. Um, so we got three spiders, three albinos. Um, spiders are head albino, I should add. We've got a couple more girls that are getting really close who are just looking at our firefly and she's looking huge and she's glowing. So hopefully it's not very long. Um, yeah, we actually just took pictures. You guys are probably going to see these on Instagram um, tonight, but you're going to see this video in the morning, so yeah. you'll have already seen this picture. But we just went and we're like, okay, let's just do an egg check, you know, um, just because. And this girl's laying belly up, just curled over. <laughs> and 
it's just good signs all around. So today was a good day. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, before I ramble on too long, um, I do want to remind you guys that we are going to be doing a um, giveaway pretty soon. We are under 300 subscribers away from doing our next ball python giveaway, but who knows, sometimes we kind of throw them in randomly. So um, as you guys know, we just kind of throw them in there and that's actually what this um, specific thing was. It was for our one year anniversary. We didn't put in the title. We didn't mention it at all. We just mentioned it in the video at, hey, comment your best um, moment of 2017 that you enjoyed and we will write your name on an egg and you will receive what is in that egg and iron dog 13 one check them out on instagram and yeah that's not true yeah so yeah if you enjoyed hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already we're going to be doing that giveaway shortly other than that i hope to see you guys in the next one we have plenty of clutches to come and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya.